say love, this is the simplest way you can achieve a very juicy coys on your Brazilian wall. Welcome back to my channel, Loveless. So first of all, I advise you go for the Brazilian attachment, not the regular Brazilian wool in the market, okay? And this particular wool looks and feel more like the normal attachment, not in packaging though. Then you have to measure the length you love to work with, just like the way we do in the normal wool. One thing I've noticed about this wool is that people complain that it tangles easily. So in order to avoid this, I would advise you prep little by little, okay? Don't just prep the whole extension you need to make the whole hair at once, like we do with our normal attachment. Just prep as you go. When the one you have at hand finish, you process another one and continue with your braiding. That way, you end up not wasting anything at all. Then, you feather it out. For this video, I'm using the pulling method to prep the extension. But I noticed that the shuffling method is a lot easier when you're using this particular wool. But why I'm using this method is just to show you how you can be able to manage this while using the pulling method. Because I noticed this pulling method is what a lot of people out there use to prep their extension. If you notice, after I pull a little, I'll walk my hand through the extension. Okay? If you just continue pulling like that, maybe, let me say, when you get to the end, you now comb. You might end up getting the whole thing tangled. So I'll be dropping the link on different ways you can prep your braid extension in the description and comment section, okay? So if you want to know um, more about the shuffling method, I think you should click that video and watch. And always make sure you comb your extensions before you start coiling. This will make it smoother and easier to separate when you're done. While doing the hot water process to set the coils, I would advise you add a lot of conditioner to the wool. This will help moisturize the wool and make it easier to manage when it's dry. And along with the conditioner, I added um, some shea butter to the water as well. So in the absence of oil shea, you can add shea butter or any hair oil of your choice when you're doing the hot water process but if you do have oil shin, just spray the oil shin on the extension after the hot water process and make sure all the extension is covered with the hot water you know this flexi rod is kind of foamy and it tends to float on water so what you do just use something and press the extensions down make sure they are covered in the water then you can leave it in for a few minutes before you bring it out. So I would love to use this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for your massive support. Okay? Thank you so much. I'm grateful. And if this is your first time coming across my channel or you've been watching without subscribing, please do well to hit the subscribe button, okay? And join the community. Then after the hot water process, set it out to dry before you unravel okay and when you're unraveling you have to do that gently so 
So love, finally this is what we have. Isn't this juicy? Can you feel the coils? And one good thing about this wool is that it's so lightweight, unlike the normal braid extension and it's quite affordable. I got a pack of this from the local markets around me for just 3,000 Naira and it's 3 pieces in the pack. Two packs of this will give you what you want. And it will look so perfect that you will have to be the one to tell somebody that this is not um, the regular attachment. So currently in my area here, the regular attachment is sold for 5,005 to 6,000 Naira. So you see, and one will not even give you as in what you want. So the money you'll be using to buy just a pack of um, your normal braid extension, you can use it to get two packs of this and still slay. And you can use this wool to achieve any style you want. It assesses hot water very well and you can coil it anyhow you want. Thank you so much my love for stopping by. I hope you find this video helpful. See you on my next. Ciao.